hi guys in this video i will show you how to use ng4 directive ng4 is a built in directive which is used to iterate over arrays or any objects okay let me create a array here i will call it as a heroes so this is an array can be any type Okay, I will initialize it empty array. So within a constructor, I will define this some variables to this array. Let me add uh, Superman. Okay, so heroes is an array which which contains four elements. Okay, so if we want to display this array in the home page, so what we can do is I can access each element in ion item. So I can place it here. Let me call it as heroes. I can add element 0 so if I reload the page I will get a superman I will add all these I'll okay this is bit ugly but I think you get the point so we can access the element using an index so if I reload it again we can see for objects but if you have a array of 10 or 20 elements you don't want to write ion item for all the elements right that is where ng for you will be useful so you can easily say ion item so so within ion item you will call ng for directive ng4 let let is used to define a block variable so let me call it as a hero in heroes that's an actual hero of heroes so i will add a hero here so let define a variable named hero it will iterate for each element like a for loop so when i save this you can see the same result see if you want to access the index of the element in the array you can access it using let i equal to index so i is a variable name index is a predefined keyword which gives us the index of the particular element in the array so what i can do is uh, i will just add another variable here so so i is a index Okay, if I reload it again, you can see Superman index is 0, shown here, it is 0, Spider Man is 3. I hope you already know index start with a 0. So, one another use case is if you have a array of objects, let me take this and convert into objects array within array we have objects okay an array within array uh, let me call it as let me create an object the name company 
company name is DC from DC we have hero I'll just call it as a name let me call it Batman then create another object company let me call this company as a Marvel So I will save it here and also save this. Now see we are getting two items but it is not displaying anything. I will quickly uh, put a hero here. So if I reload again, we are getting no objects but we need to display the data right. So what we can do is. Uh, let's call it as a company let's put a name here hero dot name company name i'll just reload it again you can see company name by following bad name that's all folks thanks for watching for more videos Please subscribe to my channel.